Anyways, got a call from my my buddy, and um, we were talking about uh, alcohol and stuff. And, you know, I was sharing with him uh, just some of the really dark stuff that reared its head in my brain and mind the last time I got really fucked up. And he told me, uh, you just need to quit drinking. End of story. And I would have resented him for saying that because despite uh, occasionally getting really fucked up um, I never really thought I had a problem with uh, alcohol abuse um, but it's really cool because I would not have been receptive uh, to hearing that if someone hadn't already said that to me uh, a couple days ago. So I'm talking to this uh, girl and um, uh, we're just talking about alcohol or whatever and um, she had made some comment about me drinking and, you know, something along the lines of, you know, it's, I, you know, maybe I, uh, maybe I drink too much or whatever. Uh, and, you know, initially I resented that because I was like, you know, I drink, you know, once a week on the weekends because I had said like, you know, I'm not, a, I don't drink habitually or whatever. And she just called me out, basically, and she's like, I, I think drinking once a week is considered, like, I would consider that often, like, because I had said, oh, I don't drink often or whatever. She's like, I think drinking once a week could be considered drinking often. And I was like, damn, maybe you're right. <laughs> Uh, so I resented her for that initially, but it's cool because if she hadn't planted that seed in my heart, then I would not have been receptive of my 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 good friend's uh, conviction and his admonition and his exhortation in my life. So all praise to the Most High for that. Uh, all praise to the Most High to the Father. Um, But, uh, yeah, so that was uh, kind of hard to hear because I don't consider myself dependent on alcohol, but, you know, I enjoy it when I have it kind of thing. So uh, it's just something I'm going to have to figure out um, how to uh, not convince myself that, that that is something that I have to have in order to have fun, basically. Um, because uh, while I don't think my use of alcohol is out of control, my buddy just said, whatever negative it's caused in my life, it's not going to be worth the times when alcohol is a, a um, something that I'm using for good, uh, to relax or uh, whatever. So, uh, yeah, I'm done done drinking um, uh, you know maybe I'll be able to drink at some point in the future if I can handle it but uh, kind of what I've been thinking about lately is you know if I want to be in this music uh, it's a very dark place and if I'm going to be a light and shine through and help other people Show them love, show them God's love. You know, how the fuck am I going to be able to do that if I can't be a good steward of the things that I'm being given now? Being given a lot of opportunities, 
uh, creative processes and if I'm not a good uh, steward of substances and alcohol uh, and things like that right now, I don't know why I'm expecting myself to be able to uh, use any higher judgment or higher restraint when uh, I can get fucked up any day of the week I want on tour or um, whatever, you know, I don't have to be up early, I don't have to whatever, uh, and so there's a lot of freedom there to uh, abuse substances and alcohol being a big one of them just because uh, it's just so readily available or whatever, super popular to use it and abuse it. Uh, so I just kind of felt like I'm not going to be given that opportunity to go to that next level if I'm just going to be a dumbass now. And how can I be expected to uh, use self-control later on if I'm not doing it now, you know? And maybe I don't fully agree, or I didn't at first whenever those people in my life had told me about that. And, you know, maybe I'm still coming to grips with it or whatever, but I recognize, like, if I'm even seeing any inclination that that alcohol or whatever is going to be a problem now, uh, it's better to just stop altogether now before it does something really terrible um, in my life. And I don't want to hurt nobody, you know, I don't want to hurt anybody or uh, cause any harm, you know, so... Um, that's why I've decided that I'm just not going to do it anymore. You know, I have way better things to do with my time. I think the hardest part will probably be, like, whenever the music starts to get real and, like, you know, after a long, you know, stint of time of, uh, of working really hard, um, uh, it'll probably be tougher to not drink like maybe with some buddies or whatever on the weekends if I have free time. Um, but that's why I'm thankful for the uh, medication that I'm taking right now. Uh, because I used alcohol primarily to just um, help me relax. Because uh, it's really hard for me to uh, relax essentially. Uh, like it's just something that I'm not very good at. Uh, <laughs> Because uh, I always feel like, you know, kind of how I've talked earlier about, you know, I'm very selfish with my time kind of deals. So the times where I do find that I need to relax, you know, having something that is uh, uh, external to sort of help me do that, which that would, you know, would have been alcohol, I guess. Um, so, you know, I can take that medication because it really helps me just kind of turn my brain down a notch, essentially, and not, like, um, worry about so many different things, and I can just kind of relax, basically, uh, which is cool, so thankful that I, um, I'm able to use that medicine to help me, uh, and it has, like, thwarted, like, uh, panic attacks and stuff, um, which is cool, so glad I still have the option to uh, use that in, you know, in a smart way, so. But, um, today, uh, Saturday, it's technically my Sunday, because I work on Sundays, which is so shitty, um, but it's cool, because I'm really, like, I'm really just like excited about some of these songs, um, you know, kind of getting a, um, getting a buzz or getting a following. Um, it's really cool to have people affirm my, my work and my stuff, you know, because that buddy that I was talking to yesterday, uh, he was like, yeah, dude, the music is so much better now, and like, it's... It's crazy how far you've come in the music, like your skill and like your dedication and your hard work. And uh, that just feels good, you know, to uh, 
of people say that because um, it is a very thankless thing that I do and maybe I make it too hard sometimes uh, but I you know whenever I like buy a beat or something I just want it to be perfect you know uh, and it's going to be so cool whenever I can do this all the time and get paid to do it. You know, I sometimes I wish that my story was different than somebody else's. You know, I really look up to Young Lean, Sad Boys. Uh, for a very long time, I've been interested in Young Lean. And this last year, this whole year, in fact, has been... Um, really where I've uh, developed a very close uh, affinity for, for Young Lean and Blade. Um, and I wish sometimes that my story wasn't the way that it was, you know. I uh, wish it came easier. Like, I wish my success came easier. I uh, wish that um, it wasn't such a, a, a struggle. I wish it wasn't such a forced feeling sometimes because no matter what people tell you if somebody's successful in the entertainment industry whatever avenue of entertainment that might be I promise you that it did not come easily unless they were very very lucky or very early onto that scene it takes an extreme amount of effort and dedication and uh, discipline and perseverance because uh, you know, again, unless you're one of the very fortunate few, it's going to be a, a grind the whole way until you're, you kind of have a foothold there. Uh, and even then, it's still going to be a grind. Uh, so sometimes I wish it came easier. I wish it wasn't so forced. I wish it didn't feel like it was forced. And I say forced in the sense of, like, I wish I had every skill uh, fleshed out that I could essentially put out my art and it would catch on, you know. But I recognize that I'm not the most gifted songwriter. Uh, I don't really know a lot, a whole lot about music theory. Um, so that's something that I'm teaching myself because sometimes I just feel like, you know, like I'm totally not, like I don't belong here kind of thing. You know, I feel like I don't know that much about, about like music theory. So I was like, I don't belong. That's sometimes how I feel. It's like I don't really belong because I don't know very much about music theory. But I know enough about music uh, to do this, you know. I have enough skill for this to be feasible. So I do take some comfort in that. But, uh, yeah, sometimes that's really discouraging because it's like, man, I just don't belong, you know. There's so many other people out there that are more gifted and smarter than me and whatever have, you know, better skills and stuff than I do. Or it comes easier to them. So that can be really uh, discouraging at times. Just kind of feel like I don't belong. Um, but I have had to sort of put that discouragement and, and whatnot. Um, on the back burner because there's plenty of people that don't know very much about the ins and outs of music and are still able to, you know, uh, make it a reality. So um, that's really cool. Uh, and I do know a lot about music. Uh, it's not like I don't know anything, but sometimes I just feel ina inadequate. Um, and, uh, yeah, work, work has become very hard, uh, lately, uh, just cause it's more intense and I still very much dislike working there, uh, cause I just, it's just not right, you know, it's wrong, I don't need to be working there, uh, cause it's just not what I'm made to do, so, uh, that's still very hard, um. Uh, it's very discouraging because, you know, uh, I just I just know it's wrong. So I'm trying to be creative and find ways to make money. Like, um, <clears throat> I thought about starting a uh, an Amazon store and maybe an eBay store to help kind of generate some income.
but even that is still going to require a, a lot of effort on my end and I'm recognizing that that effort because it's not really what I want to do uh, it's going to detract from my time and energy that I'm putting into music essentially so uh, yeah so I'm just going to figure that out because the thing is if I can find out a way to make money working 20 hours 30 40 hours a week and maybe do that from home on with an online business that's going to free up a lot of my energy because I'll be making significantly more money than I would be at this stupid job uh, which would afford me more freedom to put back into music and not just that like uh, just to have money uh, to take care of myself better and go away on the weekend if I need to relax or you know whatever or <laughs> finally buy some fucking furniture so I can kind of turn my downstairs into a lounge kind of deal. Um, but um, I just bought uh, a couple beats, two exclusives, and they're really fire. And talking with uh, Drezzo, um, he's a rapper uh, that I made contact with from a mutual friend of ours, a producer, uh, engineer. Uh, Avenue 9, Cheeto, I don't know if, I haven't talked to him in a very long time, so I'm not sure what he's up to, but, um, uh, we, me and Dreza connected, and I, I'm gonna send him a beat later, uh, that I bought, and I think he'll hop on there, so that should be cool. Um, been trying really hard to, uh, be more mindful, and kind of just enjoy the day. And enjoy life more, be more joyful. Because if I'm always focused on the destination, then the the journey is going to be pretty fucking miserable. If I'm only consumed with a, a, a singular and explicit end goal, then I'm going to have a hard time enjoying life day to day. If I can't find ways to be content and joyful now you know so I've been trying to figure out different ways to do that um, another thing that's been really hard lately is my workout routine and my health routine and just eating healthy and working out consistently has been much more of a chore lately like that's become much more of a chore that I feel like I have to compel myself to do as opposed to something that I'm excited or enjoy doing. Uh, which really is challenging because if I don't take good care of myself, it affects every other area of my life, my confidence, my ability to execute when I'm in the studio uh, or whenever I'm recording or if I'm writing. Being healthy and looking good and stuff like that are very uh, consequential and they affect other areas of my uh, just my day-to-day -day life how I feel about my work how I feel about myself so I need to be more careful that I'm making the, the carving out the time and the energy to do those things because um, uh, it's just very important to take care of your health in that, in that regard. Um, I'm just very, and I, I just can't fucking wait till this art is brought to fruition, these dreams are brought to fruition. Um, cause you know, like I said, if I'm only focused on the destination, it's going to really hinder my ability to enjoy the journey, which is very true, but in one sense, like, I just can't wait for that to be my reality, you know? To be able to make this art my livelihood. Uh, it's just so fucking cool to think about and like the opportunities and like the, the potential and like the things that that'll allow me to do are so exciting. The thought of like 
being able to go uh, on tour uh, and work with other artists that I had looked up to, like being able, like being afforded those opportunities is terribly exciting to me. And, and I'm very excited for that. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, you know, I'm just trying to uh, live every day and be thankful and maybe figure out ways to be kinder to myself <laughs> and uh, just enjoy some of the um, pleasures of life, I guess you could say. Uh, one of them being, I, I, I thought about this morning, but I have my DS here and uh, I want to get some more games for it because I really like video games and I don't have very much time to play them. I used to play video games all the time. I was very big into Call of Duty, uh, but because I, um, like, I streamed for a while and I really enjoyed it. Uh, and I'm pretty good at Call of Duty, so, uh, there's tons of fun, but I recognized that if I were going to be doing that, then it was going to detract from my energy and basically my ability to uh, make good music and focus my attention on that. But I figured I should probably get some games for this because I think that'd be fun, fun to play. Uh, just something to do. Uh, but I'm really trying to take my production and my recording, especially my vocals, try to take that more seriously. Um, just because there's no excuse for me to not take it seriously. You know, there's no excuse for me to not put my best foot forward and make the best uh, vocals that I can. Uh, But yeah, I just bought this beat from uh, Skyboy. It's the best beat I've ever heard, and I'm just so, like, I believe in this beat. Like, I believe in this song so much. Probably more than I've ever believed in any beat or song that I've come across. Uh, just because it's so catchy, and it kind of sounds a little bit like a Trippy Red song, which I was kind of at, like, uh, I was kind of, uh, I had some ambitions or some reservations at first, but it's, I mean, it's, because maybe I think that way, because it's like, the song sounds too good, does somebody already make it? Like, no, nah, this is, this is all Skyboy, this is all me, you know? Like, we're gonna make this thing real, which is so fucking cool. Like, I really think people are gonna like this, because if I really put in the effort to make it really good, there's just no reason people won't love this song. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be like energy. It's going to be just beautiful. It's so fucking beautiful. Like I was listening to it the other day, yesterday. I think I talked about this earlier, but whenever I buy a beat or I'm working on a beat or something, and I'm really like believing in it. I'll like crank it up. And I'll like jump around my, my office studio here and I'll just like go crazy and I'll like, pretend like I'm holding up a microphone and I'll just be like pretending that I'm performing it live and it's like such a silly thing but uh, I can just see people getting crazy to this song which is so freaking awesome like I can just see people like going crazy for it because it's gonna be fire uh, uh, 